Here we are on day nine. We've been riding about three or four hours so far. Most of it was through a fog, maybe 50 feet of visibility uphill. And we came to a the peak of the mountain and crossed over. The skies cleared and just an absolutely stunning scenery in this valley that we just rode through. And uh, things are looking really positive. The wind's on our side. It's a paved road. We're back to, that's an inlet, and that is the Atlantic Ocean right there. We've gone full circle, north coast, now we're on the south coast, and all we have to do is head west for about 400 miles, and we're back in Reykjavik. So with this good wind, we're just going to bust them out. Where are we going? <laughs> How long is it going to take to get there? We should be there by 8. You going? Hey, you going to the big game this weekend? Yeah. What? You think the Bears got a chance? <laughs> what? I'm talking about the Bears. Here we are, day 10. Yesterday we did 88 miles with uh, 4,800 feet of elevation gain. It took 14 hours, but it put us in a really good position to finish this. We're um, 300 miles from Reykjavik. We're gonna try and knock out another 80 or 90 today uh, just to take the pressure off and Maybe get some extra time so we can take in a sight or two. I don't know. But uh, we're worn out. I was spent five minutes looking for my blue windbreaker. And I was wearing it. So that's, uh, that's a sign that, uh, yeah, that's, this is taking its toll a little bit. But we're in good spirits. We're having a blast. Hey, Duff, was it worth it for a bike pick? Every time. <laughs> Good morning on day 11. 240 miles to go and Iceland continues to impress. Duffy came down with some intestinal issues and has sent me ahead and I'm just taking my time going slow and he plans on catching up to me later. But um, it's just absolutely stunning still and uh, I don't know what else to say. This is awesome. Good morning, here we are on day 12, early start. Um, Duffy is still sick and he's gonna sleep in and go with yesterday's plan and try and catch, look at this little guy. 
Good morning. Hey. As I was saying, it's uh, day 12. Duffy is still sick. And um, I'm going to take off ahead again. And it is raining. It's freezing. We're 176 miles out of Reykjavik. Um, I don't know. Duffy seems really bad, but he's, he's motivated. He made it this far. Um, I'm pretty confident he's going to finish. Good morning. It's uh, six o'clock on day 13. I am 97 miles from Reykjavik and the rain is cleared. It's freezing. Um, it's really beautiful. I'm gonna get this done. I don't know about today, but next couple days. Um, I talked to Duff. He is about f yesterday afternoon. He's about five miles out from Vic and he was in really bad shape. Um, I doubt he will continue today. I'll give him a few more hours and try and get in touch with him. Um, yeah, it just it sucks after everything we've been through to go out like this with a stomach thing. But he, he sounds absolutely terrible. working my ass off to go four or five miles per hour. It's exactly, exactly what I was afraid would happen. Just a final, final F you from the Iceland wind. Good morning. It's uh, day 14 and um, I'm down to my final 36 miles to Reykjavik. Yesterday was um, brutal. It took 10 hours to go 60 miles. The headwind was ferocious, and unlike other days, it it was there at the start and it was there at the finish. It was just it sucked. But I'm 36 miles away. The wind is still blowing, but um, not as hard. And it's about 5.30 in the morning. Hopefully I can get some miles behind me before it does start blowing hard if it's going to. But um, yeah, this is the final stretch. Well, I guess I'm gonna do some climbing this morning. There she is! Reykjavik! The ring road is complete. Um, 850-ish miles, 14 days, 11 a.m. on the 14th day, and she's done, in the bag. A lot harder than I thought. Beautiful, it's awesome. Never again. <laughs> 